I've bought a new car and I think this one's going to be quite predictable. I've bought an MG ZTT. I've enjoyed the Rover restoration so much that I thought I want a bit more MG Rover back in my life. And I saw this for 1500 quid and thought, why not? It's a 2003 car and weirdly enough, it's the most expensive car I've ever bought. All my other cars have been sub a thousand pounds. So 1500 quid is actually pretty spendy for me. It's only got 71,000 miles, which again is pretty good going for that price. The main thing that I bought this for was the estate. I'm going to be using this a lot as a drive tribe filming production car. So having all that space in the back is going to be spot on. It's pretty nice in here. Half leather, similar to the MG seats I put in my Rover when I was changing it into an MG ZR. And it feels really solid. It isn't the V8 before you guys say, it. those are silly expensive now. It's the V6 though, two and a half litre V6. So let's take a look. Ouch. Now, can I remember where it is? Mm -mm -mm. Ah, there it is. The first car I've ever bought with a hydraulic bonnet catch. And there it is, the 24 valve quad cam KV6. Now, don't give me any jip about K series head gaskets. The KV6 was not included in that at all. It was only the four cylinders. So this has got about 180 horsepower. So just down on my ST200, but it sounds and goes pretty much exactly like my Mondeo. Another reason I've bought this is that the Mondeo has been doing a lot of filming and has a few little bits and pieces that still need done on it. So while all that's happening, this is gonna be my workhorse basically. As I said, the real reason I bought this car was the enormous amount of space in it. It's full of golf clubs right now, but the boot itself is massive, but you can also put these seats fully down and it becomes a full van. I will be able to move house in this easily and it should be able to take all the camera equipment for any shoot plus crew. It should be absolutely bob on. So it's basically British racing green. I don't know the exact paint color. I'm not sure this is the proper paint color for the car. It might have been repainted because there's a few bits that don't look quite right. The one thing I don't like, to be honest, is the powder coated wheels. Those are not stock. These used to be sort of chrome silver and they've kind of half arsed a scrubby looking powder coat. So I might get these acid dipped and back to stock really. But 1500 quid all of this car. I'm pretty damn happy with it, to be honest. In terms of what we're gonna actually do with this car, it's not going to be a project car. I put some clues for it on my Instagram and a lot of people were saying, oh, what are you gonna do with the car? Are you gonna restore it, blah, blah, blah. I don't think so. I think this car is just gonna be a workhorse and we're not gonna do anything particularly special with it. It may feature in some shoots, we are planning something potentially with the three guys, the trio that this could feature in, but I'm not gonna tell you what that is because if it doesn't happen, you'll be disappointed. So if you see it, you'll know it and you'll be like, that's what Mike was chatting about. But for now, it's just gonna take us to and from shoots and we'll maybe feature in some Drive Tribe content, but I'm not gonna promise anything now. What do you guys think though? Do you think I've got a bargain? 1500 quid for well, to be honest, I've been getting slagged off a bit on social media. People are saying you've bought a Rover 75, but I find that a bit odd. Yes, the Rover 75 had a pretty bad reputation for being a granddad car back in the day, but underneath, the Rover chassis were spot on, really nice things to drive. So despite that reputation, they're actually pretty good cars. And this being the KV6, it's got plenty power, it's reliable enough, so I actually don't see any size to this. I think it's pretty handsome with the MG body kit and grille. And there is something to be said for cars that were so uncool back in the day that they actually then start becoming cool. That's definitely a thing. The Ford Mondeo was proving that right now. The amount of love for the ST200 has been massive over the last few months. And I think this car kind of shares that same ethos. So I'm chuffed with it. So as I've said, we're not going to treat this as a project car, but I would like to know from you guys, what content would you like to see with this MG ZTT? I'm not too sure, to be honest. I'm just going to use it as a daily runaround. And as I said, take it on shoots. But if you guys would like some specific content, 
do tell me in the comments below and I'll try and make it happen as long as it's not too extreme. I kind of want to send it down a runway like the Mondeo and see how quick it'll go. 180 horsepower versus 200 possibly might be quite a close match but tell me what you want to see and I'll see if I can do it. I've been Mike and I'll see you again next time.